cannot get any prettier of a day as it is today wow beautiful beach bright sun it is just absolutely gorgeous and we're going to get out on the beach and do some fishing got the beach cart with me have mom with me just check out how beautiful it is can't get enough of that wow time to take the flip-flops off and enjoy this nice warm sand it isn't super clear but it's not terrible might be some lighting out but i appreciate y'all joining me today how are y'all doing if this is your first time to the channel welcome if you've been here before welcome back i appreciate you as always going to do some beach fishing like i said we have some of my hand tied pompano rigs some dead shrimp and i might try to do some sand fleas i don't know we'll find out but i know nobody likes a bunch of talking let's go ahead and i'll show you what i'm using and we'll go ahead and get into fishing all right while y'all get to listen to the sound of the waves but this is what we're using today these are my bama saltwater hand tied surf rigs i make a bunch of different colors and i hand tie these and put them all together myself and so these are what i like to use and then i have some dead shrimp and i think we're going to use a two ounce pyramid weight today and this is my surf rig it's a swivel i use 20 pound fluorocarbon leader i have two dropper loops on here and each one of them come down to a float bead and a circle hook and then at the very end is a clip and we're going to use the two ounce today because it's not that rough a little bit of a wind so i'm using that two ounce I'm gonna bait this up with some shrimp and fish bites. So we're gonna be using dead shrimp and then fish bites. It's just a synthetic cut bait. You've seen me use this before. This is a fish and strip shrimp in the orange color. And all I need is two small pieces of peeled shrimp. And both these hooks, I'm gonna thread on a small piece of shrimp and I'm gonna take that fish bites I cut up and put that on the same hook as well. All right, just put in my rod holders and I think mom's hooked into something. Let's see what she's got. You think it's a whiting? I wouldn't mind some big whiting. If we can catch some bigger whitings, we'll keep them. Little hardhead catfish. They do hurt, so you want to watch out for their fins. But at least she didn't get skunked yet. But this one's going to go back. All right, I'm baited up in both setups. Mom just caught that hardhead. But my setups are identical. Each one of them is a Shimano Stratic 5000. Both have 20 pound Yozuri Super Braid as my main line. And then I'm using this Shimano Speedmaster Surf Rod. It's a nine foot medium power, moderate fast action surf rod. And I'm over here talking and trying to explain the setup and mom has something else. What is it? That's actually really good whiting. We're gonna keep that one. That was on the pink and white Bama saltwater pompano rig cause mom loves pink. And then some orange shrimp fish bites. So beautiful fish. One of the tastiest fish you can catch on the surf. Mom just got that nice whiting. Let me go ahead and cast out my rods. Whiting are very good to eat. There's no size limits on them. But normally I don't like to keep the really tiny ones. The real tiny ones are really good redfish bait and shark bait. Oh, I got that rod set. But you don't need anything crazy to catch whiting. Just a couple of those pompano rigs. You don't even need a huge rod either to come out and catch these fish. All right, mom's got something decent. What do you think it is? Another whiting? Yeah, that's another whiting. Perfect fish. We'll throw that one in the cooler. All right, mom got a really nice whiting again. This one's gonna go in the cooler for some tacos, a sandwich or something. Really good fish. Heck yeah, good job. Thank you. I have something on this one. I did bait this one up with just some green fish bites just to change it up a little bit. So mom's over there catching some whiting and I'm over here with the hardhead catfish. Okay, I got a whiting, not a giant. I got another whiting here. These are cool little species. This one was just on the chartreuse fish bite shrimp. He's a little smaller than I like to keep, so I'm gonna toss it back, but that's actually really good redfish bait. There you go, buddy. So those whiting are also known as kingfish. There's Gulf kingfish, Northern kingfish, and Southern kingfish that we primarily catch down here. So let's rebait up and try to get some more. I think I fish on this one. Yeah, I do. Let's see here. Let's see what I got. I have two fish on here, <laughs> two little bitty whiting. That's the fun thing about using these double drop surf rigs that I tie, that you can catch two fish at one time. And they like that orange fish bites, but these are a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna toss them back. There you go, there you go. Mom's got something else, what you got? Another good whiting, mom's catching dinner today. I'm over there messing around. All right, I'm gonna go throw this in the cooler for you. Thank you. <laughs> and this one's the Northern Kingfish. You can tell by the vertical bars on there, plus that really long dorsal fin. 
So this one has the longest dorsal fin out of all of them. But pretty cool variations between the three if you really pay attention to them. They all taste just as good. And mom just got another whiting and I think I have something on my fish bites. Let's see. This is just on the chartreuse fish bites. Another whiting here. This one I'm going to toss back. Another northern kingfish. So really cool. All right, buddy. Here you go. Go back. So that one was just on the fish bites again. So pretty cool how that stuff works. I'm just going to cast that out again. These are still good. Oh, this one's getting nibbled on. Let's see what you are. Oh, decent pull. That's actually a really good pull. I don't know what it is. Let's find out though. This is actually, you know, it's probably a catfish at this rate, but hey, anything's better than nothing. Yeah, another hardhead catfish. At least they fight hard. Not really desired species. They're not terrible to eat, but when you're catching whiting and stuff, you know, I'd rather keep those. There you go, bud. Oh, he gone. All right, I just caught that little whiting and I just came over to this one. I noticed my line went slack. Oh, mom's got a good one too. I think hers is probably better than mine because mine's not fighting that hard. <laughs> see what it is. We're doubled up, huh? <laughs> It's hard to keep up today with all, all the bites. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. But this one's just a chartreuse shrimp fish bites, and I'm doubled up on whiting. Check that out. You want to catch fish? Pick up some of my surf rigs and some fish bites, because that's cool. Hers is a what we're keeping. That's a good one. I caught two. A little bit smaller, but it is a really pretty variant of the whiting. All right, I'm going to toss mine back, and then we'll keep hers. She's bringing home dinner. I'm just over here entertaining cook too? <laughs> i'll cook them that top one wasn't but this one i'm going to keep he's actually a decent size to him uh, that's always fun when you catch fish like that we have six total right now i'm going to be optimistic and see if we can catch four more mom has definitely contributed a lot more than i have to the cooler but if we can catch at least four more decent ones that'll be enough meat for us and everything else is catch and release mom just cast out again she's already we're in a little whiting hole that's awesome that's a little baby <laughs> we're gonna toss this one back though but we're in the like action today they are cool they are pretty little fish Bye. there you go <laughs> i literally just got me a small piece of shrimp ready to bait up my other rod my mom's already got one we we got in a pretty good hole of them so Normally when you catch one, you, there's multiple whiting hanging around in the same school. That one can go in the cooler. Yeah, we're in a good mess of these. Perfect fish right there. You catch some fish, some stuff I tie, that's pretty cool. That was a decent pull right there. Still got it? Yeah. Let's see what you are. That's a, that pulled kind of good. Initial bite wasn't bad. No, that's just a decent whiting. So about time I catch a decent one. Not a bad little fish. He's gonna go in the cooler. They love that shrimp and fish bites. They really can't resist it. Just the chartreuse fish bites. Found a saltwater rig I have out here. I think it has something on it. Not that big, but we'll find out. Let's see. Oh, I got a little remora. Little bitty remora. Shark sucker. These things are kind of cool. If you've seen them on my other videos, these are what sticks to the bottom of big rays, especially sharks, whales, any other big critter. I've seen the smaller ones on big black drum. They have a sucker on top of their head right there. That they'll even stick to your arm and stuff. But I'm gonna get him back in the water. They're pretty fish. They're slimy. You know, they're not a desired species, but they are edible. They're not really a targeted fish. So they're kind of a pest. All righty, we didn't do too bad. Mom caught most of the keepers, and we could have kept more if we wanted to. There's plenty for us, so. I'm gonna take it home and probably make some grilled fish sliders. So that sounds really good. We're gonna go ahead, pack up, call it an evening, and then I'll see you at home, and let's do some cooking. The way YouTube is now, they don't like a whole bunch of fish juice per se. So I'm gonna fillet these up, and then we can get into the cook. Okay, I fillet these up. So I did take the skin off. It's really simple. Just fillet it like a panfish or like a croaker. But whiting are all in the drum family. So redfish, black drum, speckled trout, croaker, and whiting. They're all in the same family. So they all taste pretty good. 
but the whiting especially are good because they don't have that much red meat. They do have small little rib cages that I'm gonna go trim out and get all the pin bones out. And I'm gonna take these upstairs, season them, and we're gonna make some grilled fish sliders. They're gonna be really good. I'm pretty excited, it's gonna be my dinner. Let me go ahead and finish cleaning these, take them upstairs. Okay, we have a very simple ingredients list today. Have some King's Hawaiian hamburger buns. These are delicious if you ever had uh, the King's Hawaiian rolls, love them. Some butter. Some of this Louisiana garlic butter sauce. Some of the Chef Paul Prudhomme seafood magic, as always. My fresh whiting fillets. I have some pre-made, because I'm cheating, some pre-made coleslaw. And then as my side, some pre-made loaded baked potato salad. I bought all this stuff at Rouse's, except the whiting, obviously. So I'm going to be cooking on the Blackstone today. So let's go ahead and there's no propane. So that was a simple rundown of ingredients. Now, I ran out of propane on the Blackstone, so I'm using a little electric hot plate here and a pan that's bigger than the hot plate, but I think we can make this work. This just goes to show you, you can do things simple and it should still turn out pretty good. You don't need a whole bunch of stuff to make life easy. My goal today is to keep it very simple, easy, and hopefully it still turns out good. So we'll see, they should be pretty good. Bobo, everybody wants to see you. What's up, Bobo? What's up, buddy? What you doing, huh? This is Bobo, if you haven't met him yet. I know there's a lot of new subscribers on the channel. So he, uh, he's kind of camera shy. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna take a tablespoon of butter and let this melt down in our pan. It's about medium heat here. So let's let this melt while it's melting. Check out how beautiful of an evening it is today. It's like 71 degrees, very low humidity. Early November, it is just beautiful in the water. There's a lot of easier ways I could do this. I could go inside and do it in the oven and bake all of them at the same time. But but something about being outside and being one with nature, it just seems to make it taste a little better. Take our buns here. But we're just gonna let these brown a little bit and get in just a tiny bit of toasting on the inside of them. And then we'll start cooking our fish. What you up to, huh? What you doing? Hmm? <laughs> What's up, Bobo? All right, our buns are pretty much where I want them to be. You don't want them burnt. But if you like them toasted more, you can toast them more. But this is what I like. But I have four complete buns toasted. These are actually perfect and they smell really good. Any type of melted butter smells good. But what I'm gonna do is get my whiting. I just wanna coat the pan with some more butter before I put my whiting in there. So that's enough. I'm gonna take all my whiting fillets, beautiful pieces of meat. They're not giant. I don't like a bunch of bones and skin and stuff on mine. So they worked out perfect for what we're making here. Now my seasoning is gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna add some Chef Paul Prudhomme Seafood Magic. As always, you see me use this a lot because it's just good and it's not that salty. So I don't like a bunch of salty stuff. So I like using the Chef Paul Prudhomme seasoning. It's got a lot of good flavor on it. So we're just gonna season these lightly. Whiting, you don't want to over season. Just like flounder and pompano. You don't want to over season these fish because they're very mild tasting white fish you don't have to cover up a bunch of stuff we'll let these grill for a couple minutes then we'll flip them and do the same thing on the other side buddy what you doing huh what you doing he wants to go run around everywhere in the yard bobo has a good story about almost running in front of a well not almost he did in front of a yellow dump truck that was flying down the road and almost getting run over so i like to do a couple minutes on each side these are really small fillets and you don't want to cook them to the point where they dry out all right time to flip them What's up with the heat? Is there no heat? Well, what the heck? <laughs> okay, last one. I know it kind of looks a little messy, but it smells delicious right now. And what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit more season on the back side of it. Nothing too crazy. And there we go. So I did about two and a half minutes on one side and I just flipped them, re-seasoned them. I'm gonna add some of this garlic butter on top. Just a slight drizzle over each filet. Should add some really nice flavor. There we go. Just a little bit. We'll let these cook for about three more minutes and then these will be more than done. I tell you what, it may not look the prettiest or symmetrical or any of that, but it smells freaking delicious right now. That garlic butter with that Chef Paul's just smells so good. So I'm pretty excited to eat it. Kind of working with something on a whim right here, but it's working so far. I flipped them one more time just to brown the other side just a little bit more. These look absolutely delicious right now though. They're gonna be perfect for these little Kings to Lions buns because they're not normal hamburger buns that are real big. These are these little slider buns. Gonna let these finish browning on that side and we'll start plating. So these have been cooking for pretty much five minutes total cook time. And we're gonna start plating these here. This one here. All right. 
and they actually look really good you can eat them just like that but i'm gonna top them with some coleslaw all right like i said i'm cheating i bought some ready-made stuff from rouse's some of the ready-made coleslaw can't go wrong with anything from rouse's i'm gonna take just a little bit of a spoonful on each one it's gonna be kind of messy but that's the best type of food right there so each one a little bit of coleslaw and then lastly you can use any type of hot sauce you like but this chipotle tabasco is some of the best stuff ever when it comes to fish po boys sandwiches so we're gonna do a couple drops on each one just to give it a little added spice and flavor you know you don't want you don't want to overdo it now i chose some of this loaded baked potato salad i absolutely love potatoes no matter how you cook them so this potato salad looked pretty good add some of this give a, give a couple as my side items here all right and then i'm gonna pick me out one of these sliders do those not just look delicious that plate for dinner right there fresh out of the gulf of mexico oh and a wasp just tried to come get it it's so good but let me go ahead and try some this is the type of food that you just have to dig right in so here we go mm. i need paper towels but that is freaking delicious mm -hmm. it's very easy and it's not too many layers on there so you taste a lot of that fish and you can take or add on as you please but this is just a very quick dinner right here you know you get back from fishing you don't feel like making a five course meal so you can grill up some buns grill up some fish real quick buy a couple ready-made toppings and sides and you're good to go bon appetit all right i'm gonna try some of this loaded baked potato salad here it's pretty cheesy it's not terrible it's a pretty good side it goes along with these sliders good i think a regular potato salad i probably should have got because this isn't my favorite but it's not bad it's just a lot of cheese in there but i appreciate y'all for watching as always i'm gonna go ahead and finish my dinner here but i appreciate y'all as always for tuning in there's a lot of new subscribers to the channel that is awesome seeing the growth of this channel if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below at the end of this video if you enjoyed recipes like this and catching cooks go ahead hit that like button down below don't forget bamasaltwater.com if you want to go pick up some of my hand tied pompano rigs and also i'll link fish bites down in the description below as well because they were awesome enough to send me some fish bites to try out and you saw that it worked i appreciate y'all for watching as always we'll see you on the next Bama saltwater fishing episode. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.